hi everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a great day or a great night depending on when you're watching this video if you're new to my channel welcome my name is desiree i do do all things budgeting and what i wanted to do is close out of my budget before talking about the next one so i am using the easy cash budget planner with special what Easy Cash Budget Planner with Saving Challenges Special Edition. This book is by Salisa over at Beautifully Me and You. I will have the link down below if you want to check it out. So let's take a look at the budget. So here's what my calendar looks like. I typically use my calendar for random things such as bills, my no spins, things I need to remember. And as you can see, some things are filled in, some things are not. But let's go ahead and move on. So here is my monthly section. Here is the first paycheck. Let's go ahead and talk about it. I've already filled everything out. So here are all the bills and what was paid. When it comes to spending, I did budget $240. I actually spent $220.72 for car. I didn't spend anything fun. Of course, I didn't budget anything. For miscellaneous, I did budget for $20 and I spent that as well. For essential things, I spent $20, $30 for travel. And I'll explain everything a little bit better once I get to showing what was spent. You'll find you you'll be able to get what I'm saying. So all together, all of this equal up to $360. So if we Take a look at what was spent. Everything was going A-OK. -okay. As money started to get spent, I did add up the rest of the categories together. And I ended up with, well, $20, but in reality, $18.63. This what was spent. As you can see, it was mostly from spending, a little bit from travel. And at the end of the budget, which was yesterday, I ended up with $15.02 left. So, over here, I did send $140.11 to my basket. I did have this amount, but I had some change, so I ended up adding all of that together, which made $15.12. I did go ahead and send that over to Allie. I will post the screenshot here where you can see where it is. Transfer it out. So out of everything that was spent, we have the first paycheck for $1,306.11. I spent $806 for bills. $344.88 for cash envelopes. I was left with $512. I was able to save $140.11. And if you do add that amount with rollover, we have $155.23 that I was. So this is pretty much how everything looks. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about my second paycheck next. Jasmine, say hey to everyone. Uh, yeah, I think she don't want to be bothered, but <laughs> no, oh, oh gosh, I guess she's trying to uh, lick you all, but there she go. I don't know what happened to her neck. I'm assuming that her collar um, kind of irritated her, but we are putting medicine on it. So let's go ahead and get back to the budget. Say bye, Jasmine. Anywho. Okay, so back to the second paycheck budget. So after I sent my sister money for offering, I'm left with $1,083.97. I did have some things um, get automatic deposit into different accounts. That's why this is a little lower than normal, but it's okay. We'll work through it. So let's see where the money is going. First, where is my pen? First, we have rent. So, I ended up having rent broken down by three, pretty much. But, since this paycheck is a little lower than normal, I'm going to avoid taking out money for rent this time and 
do the money for everything else. So I initially wanted to budget $200 for rent, but since Christmas is around the corner and things may be a bit tight. I'm going to use some of the money that I have that saved up for rent to pay this $200. For AT&T, we're doing everything as normal, $32.50. Netflix, $7.00. Cricut, $55.00. YouTube, $2.50.00. And that's going to Capital One. NES, that bill is already paid, but I'm just going to pretty much take the change that I had left over to pay $11.49 towards electricity bill, car payment 203, Google 150, State Farm 119, Term Life 2848, and these two bills that are will be coming out that first week in January, 32.50 for AT&T and $7. So, I know you all are probably wondering why is Prime over here, but it's not over here. That's because I applied for my first credit card with Navy Federal. I applied for the one that's the highest tier, which is the flagship card. Um, with that card, they I'm actually shocked since my credit score had just dropped for TransUnion 20 points uh, the day before I applied but I went ahead and pulled the trigger they did give me 25k for the limit just starting out which I'm still shocked but with the flagship card I can get Amazon Prime free for a year also if I spend I believe 3k within a certain amount of months I will be able to get I think it's $300 back. So, yeah, I'm going to see how that goes. I'm going to add most of the bills here to that card. That way it'll help with the amount that I use. I'll spend that amount of money with all of the bills coming out on it. And it does have other perks as well as far as uh, TSA and global entry so we'll see how that goes we have five hundred ninety one dollars and forty nine cents and the amount that's left over is a even 580 that we'll be using for spending and saving or pretty much saving what we can so for food we're doing two hundred dollars and i am going to go to a different store to grocery shop this time let's see if we can't stay under $200 for car I'm going to do 15 for travel I'm going to do 140 I may need more than that but we'll see as time goes by for fun I'm not doing anything for miscellaneous I'm doing 20 just in case essential things I do need to pick up my eye drops whenever they get them in stock that is $30 for fast food if this end up getting used, we are going to do 25 bucks. Household stuff, I do need to get some spoons and other little things, so I'm going to do 35 bucks. For Jasmine, I just placed the order on Petco for her food, and I was able to get it at a discount because I was able to. I ended up signing up for the automatic ship to get $20 off of course me I'm not going to do automatic shipping so I'm going to go in the system and cancel it in about a couple of days so for Jasmine I spent $44.67 I'll put the screenshot here of how much everything originally was I did send this $5.25 to the pet fund over in alley that's why I went ahead and closed this out so altogether it was $520 and I got $60 left. And that $60 is going towards saving challenges. So everything pretty much looks like pretty plain, pretty simple. Hopefully I'm able to 
go by the budget and have leftovers this time also i did add pretty much went back to how the cash envelopes were where groceries by itself a car travel fund miscellaneous essentials fast food jasmine has her own envelope and i am thinking about buying some a what is it a9 envelopes off of amazon and maybe adding the names to them so i can put in my wallet but overall that is the budget so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a comment down below on how everything is going for you i haven't finished christmas shopping yet but i'm almost there and of course we still have this vacation coming up so i definitely need to be working a lot of overtime or you know doing something to get some extra cash but i do hope you all enjoy the rest of your day bye